Today we're gonna be taking a look at the second new weapon for the Assault class that made it to Battlefield 1 with Turning Tides. Couple days ago we talked about Automatico on drugs, so called machine and pistol, and this time we're gonna take a look at the M1917 Trench Carbine, which is probably the exact opposite of that weapon. Again, as many other weapons that came to the game with this expansion pack, the M1917 comes only in one variant and that being the trench one with improved hipfire accuracy. If you want to unlock it, you have to perform 15 kills with sidearms and get 5 multi kills. Notice that in this assignment there is no need to get those multi kills with the assault class, you can do it with any class in the game. Once you unlock it and play with it for the first time, you will immediately realize that there is something wrong with the weapon. Or maybe not wrong, but there is something different about it. It can only be shot in a single fire mode. It doesn't have an option to switch it to automatic, so unless you decide to make a macro for your mouse, and trust me, I've already seen people doing this, you'll just end up clicking 24-7 and your gameplay will Keep sound like this. Off. But except for the additional effort which you need to put in to actually shoot the weapon, it's actually very good. It's probably the first weapon in the assault weapon arsenal designed for more medium to long range instead of close to medium range engagements. And I know we could now argue that MP18 isn't great up close, but it isn't great on the long range either, so it's kind of pointless. The carbine has 41 bullet magazine and it can shoot at the maximum rate of fire of 360, which is close to the self-loading rifles actually. It can deal a maximum of 28 damage up to 17 meters and then it slowly drops off to 15 damage on a distance longer than 39 meters. It's got a muzzle velocity of 460 meters per second, which by the way is still better than Vitaly and Martini, but it can't really be used as a mini sniper. Dealing 15 damage on the longer ranges means that you would have to just for half of your day to score one kill. Believe it or not, I've seen people trying to snipe with this weapon and it's just beyond the point of being ridiculous. I get it, you watched a review from a big Battlefield 1 YouTuber who said that the weapon is great and incredible and etc etc but in reality you can't out snipe snipers with it. However, what you can do with this weapon is out damage your opponents on the medium ranges and just shred everyone into pieces with your accurate shots. That's the great thing about this weapon. You can practically just... and you will get all of the kills around. You don't need to pay attention to controlling the recoil, you don't need to pay attention to managing the spray because there's none of that. You can just click and the weapon is insanely accurate even if you're doing it for a longer time. You might see me crouching sometimes when I'm playing with the M1917 carbine and I just want to say it is not to reduce recoil or improve weapon statistics, I'm just doing it to confuse enemies because realistically you need to help yourself with everything you've got, especially if you want to win a firefight against a guy using Autos Rubico. Especially considering that the other guy only needs to just... And you have to... All the time to outplay him. All jokes aside, the weapon is great. And I feel like it's kind of becoming a trend now that DICE keeps adding weapons that don't fit the class at all. In the previous DLC, we've got the Feather of Automat, which was the fully automatic self-loading rifle. And in this DLC, we are getting a carbine, which is only single fire, and it goes to the assault class, which has a reputation of wasting 60 Hellrigal bullets to kill one enemy. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Honestly, when I first heard about this weapon coming to the game, I was 100% certain that it will be pilot slash tanker's weapon. One more thing I have to mention, guys. If you don't enjoy playing with this weapon in its current state, Give it a try once the big weapon balance patch comes to the game. It really changes the weapon and it will be a lot better then. And I know that you're probably thinking, how is it going to be better if all of the weapons will be boosted? Well, first of all, not all of them will be. And second, they will be tweaked, not only when it comes to damage. So it might turn out that the M1917 will become a skill cannon and if you manage to master it, you will be just godlike with it. Anyway guys, that would be it for this video, if you haven't seen previous reviews yet, just go for it, they're linked on the screen right now, and as always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and 
I see you on the battlefield.